Here are five home projects you can do to help increase the market value of your home by tens of thousands of dollars. First thing you can do is home automation systems. So that's things like a Nest thermostat, a ring doorbell, smart light switches, um, the key, the keypad door lock that you can type on your phone and open the door with. Um, those things are really appealing to buyers right now and if they're already on the home, that adds a ton of value. Second home project is flooring. If you have carpet, pull the carpet. Nobody wants carpet right now, especially in Austin where we're the allergy capital of, I think, the whole world. Um, so pull the carpet out, replace it with something that looks like hardwood if you can. So that would be um, for like two or three hundred thousand dollar homes, that would be pergo or laminate or maybe the tile that looks like hardwood but it's super durable for pet feet and stuff like that. Um, higher end homes go with engineered hardwood or if you have the money and you're in a lower end and you go with engineered hardwood, that's good too. Um, that's going to bring a whole lot of value to your home and it's going to make your house look like it's on Pinterest. So that's always good for adding value. Third project is cabinets, refinishing cabinets, especially if you have a home that was built in the 90s or the early 2000s. This is really, really key to making it look new and fresh and adding value. Um, make sure you prep the cabinet well. If you do a cheesy job, it's not even worth doing it because buyers will notice that right away. So either hire it out or spend a lot of time sanding and prepping to make sure that it's done in a professional looking way. You wanna use lighter colors if you can. Whites and grays are still very big, but now in 2020, instead of having all of it light, um, light gray or white, uh, look for what we're calling the tuxedo look. So do a darker, maybe like a moody blue or green on the bottom underneath your countertop, and then the lighter colors up in the higher cabinets. Okay, project number four is enhancing your curb appeal. So first you're gonna focus on landscaping. You wanna pull out anything that's dead, anything that uh, really hasn't come back like you thought it was gonna come back. Pull that out and put in fresh plants that are native to the area so that they're lower maintenance. People love that and it's less water so it's more environmentally friendly. Um, put in color if you can. Be very thoughtful with the design of where the color goes. That makes pictures really pop. Um, and will really increase the curb appeal of your home. So that is first. Um, the other thing you can do for curb appeal is your front door. You may not pay a lot of attention to it, but it's really critical if you're going on the market. So take a good look at it, see if it needs fresh paint. Um, it probably needs new hardware. You want the door to open really, really easily. So you want the lock to just turn and the handle to just turn and nothing to feel loose or janky or tight because that gives buyers pause about what's going on inside the rest of the house. Um, we can give you specific instructions on what to do with your door if you're in that position. Exterior lighting? Oh, the other thing you can do for outside, um, outside curb appeal, this is really more in the backyard. I don't know if we should be calling it curb appeal. Exterior things. You can add exterior lighting. So if you have any sort of outdoor living space, you really wanna highlight that and make it pop. I recommend Edison bulbs. You can buy plastic ones that are cheap and weather resistant. Everybody loves that. So hang and string some Edison bulbs in your backyard. If you have like a hangout spot in the front, that could work too, um, but mostly we see it in the back. All right, project number five is the walls, your interior walls. If you have cream or beige, it's time to let go. If your whole house is gray, that should change. We were seeing all gray everything for a long time and now we're just sick and tired of it. So you want a little bit of gray because it's still, it's still trending, but not everything. You need to use a lot more accent colors to brighten things up and give it a little bit of interest. I'm seeing a lot of moody blues this year and a lot of deep jewel tones. Um, so add in some good pops of color that are rich and warm. Um, to complement the gray hues that you have. All right, so that was our top five home project list. If you want our longer list of lots more creative ideas you can do to increase your home's value, click on the link below the video and we will send it to you. Again, this is Lindsay Keller. I'm an Austin realtor. Thank you so much for watching. If you want any more information on all things Austin real estate related, please subscribe, get in touch with us, and we would be happy to give you all the information we can. Thanks, see ya.